Do you want to transform your video from this to this? Hi guys, I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to today's video. And today I actually want to share with you something I think is pretty, pretty cool. So the thing I'm talking about is how you can very, very easily curate the environment and the space that you want around yourself when you are making a video. So basically a uh, fake background, but without having a green screen. So if you are someone who lives at home, lives in a room anywhere where it's not really aesthetic to film a video where you are on camera, you, you can be seen and you don't really like the background, well, there's a very quick and easy way to fix that. What we are going to be utilizing to make your own background is something called Adobe Firefly. And that is an AI tool where you can do lots of different things. And what we are going to use is the generative AI fill. It's very, very simple. Uh, what you're going to be doing, I'm going to explain it in very, very simple steps. So the first step is that you want to find somewhere in your house, in your apartment, where there is like a white wall there should not be too many things. If there is like a shelf or anything, that's okay, a couch, whatever, it's okay. But find a nice space where you can where you can film yourself. It doesn't have to be fancy or anything, it just has to be clear of stuff. Mostly it makes it a little bit easier. For me, for example, I just chose this couch and this white wall as a background, okay? So what you're going to be doing is that you're going to film your video right there and then you're gonna set up your camera just like that. You're gonna film the video. And when you're done filming the video, what you're going to do is you're going to drop in your footage in your, into your timeline, into your project. When you have done that, you're going to scrub through your footage and you're gonna find one frame in your video where your body is the widest. In my case, it is my arms. So I'm going to take a screenshot right here and I'm going to import it into Adobe Firefly. Uh, you take a screenshot of that and then you're gonna save the screenshot somewhere you know on your computer. So now we're going to go to Adobe Firefly and be aware you do need an Adobe account to do this, to use Adobe Firefly. You're going to go into Adobe Firefly, you're going to drop in to the generative AI fill and you're going to insert, uh, upload the screenshot that you took, okay? So what you're going to do now is that you're going to take the pen tool and you're going to draw around yourself, the, the subject, you're going to grab around yourself and basically those places in the video where you want to be replaced with something else, okay? So once you have highlighted all of the, um, the area that you want to replace with something else, then you're going to go into the prompt and you're going to write very, very specifically and detailed what you would want, okay? This is very, very important. This is the most uh, crucial step of it all because it all comes down to how well you're able to explain what you actually want. You will then press generate and it will then come up with three different results that you can look at. And if you are happy with one of them, you can take it and download it. For me, I usually um, uh, maybe take a couple, download a couple that I feel is fitting, the, the ones I like. Um, so once you find what you like, um, you're going to download that, 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 uh, that photo. So that is basically just a frame of the video. So now that you have your frame, you're going to drop it into your video editor where you have our video and we're going to drop it down to the timeline and then just follow along the video. We are going to do some masking work a little bit. We are going to blend in our video with the AI generated picture of the environment that we took. I hope you are still with me for this last part of the video. So what we are going to do now will be the very final part. You're going to drop in your photos that you saved from the Firefly AI tool. All of those scenes that you thought was interesting, you're going to take them and import them into your After Effects or your video editor of choice. You are then going to drop them down to the timeline. And if there's something in that photo that you find is interesting, you're just going to mask it out and feather it with maybe 50 or 100, depending on your footage, just so that it looks like it's blending into the scene. The only thing you have to be careful about is not masking over yourself. We don't want to overlap the mask with you that is the main subject of the video, okay? So keep all the things away from the subject and the background besides the subject. And that is why we have this reference frame where you can see my arms is pointed to the sides because that is the max wide of our subject where our subject is going to be at. So yeah, when you have played around with it for a little bit and you feel like the mask is just right and it looks realistic, it looks good. It does not look like you are on a green screen. It looks like you're actually in an environment. And there you have it. There was a quick tutorial, walkthrough, step-by-step, step, whatever you want to call it. If you have this problem or you have a difficult place to find it looks very nice and aesthetic, 
you can make it with AI as you can with a lot of things these days. Thank you so much for watching. I was trying out a little bit new experiment with uh, you know this setup, uh, making videos like this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please uh, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions regarding um, this tutorial, this process, please uh, write down below and I will answer your comment. Have a great week, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.